So I'm Jacob, here with Emotive, uh, and IEEE, we are demonstrating Emotive's uh, brainware technology. Uh, what we're doing today is control using the headsets to control cars with your mind. It's driving with your, driving with your mind, right? It's exactly what it sounds like. It's that awesome. Um, basically what happens is the device is a mobile EEG device that picks up on the neural signals near the surface of your brain and then when you're using it, it takes all that data, runs it through our algorithms and then will trigger an output. So for here in this case, we're using the push uh, men mental command. So you're physically, you're, you're imagining like pushing a car forward or pulling a car towards a finishing line or really anything else that you can continuously focus on. And what happens is the, the headset learns your baseline so that this is what your brain does normally. And then when you train for like the focus action, you're focusing on like doing mental math or whatever it is. And so it's the actual task of focusing that changes your brain waves away from the baseline. And that's what triggers whatever your action is going to be. So that's what's causing the cars to go down the, down the road. So uh, we kind of go the whole gamut for applications. We're looking, uh, starting in entertainment. So we, uh, we're developing video games where you have your standard like my keyboard and mouse, but now you have the headset on, so now you can like click on something in your environment, like a rock or a bridge or an enemy or something. And so now you can use your mind to sort of levitate up the enemy or like move them around, send them away, make them disappear. You can do everything like that. So it's a whole new dimension for interactive, for uh, computer games. Uh, and then sort of the other end of the spectrum would be healthcare, right? So we have amazing applications for healthcare where um, people with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, uh, they have their mental capacity, but they don't have all of their physical capacity. And so what the headsets allow them to do is turn lights off and on, uh, to open and close doors, run household appliances, anything like that to help them give them back their functionality. Um, and then we also have applications uh, in education. So uh, people are using it to study and also help treat ADHD in children. So they're sort of learning what happens uh, when they have their problems and then they use the device to sort of correct that and learn how to do better. Uh, and then uh, the, just the one last example is in the auto industry. Uh, we have an application where uh, a driver will use the headset to figure out when, where, and how they're losing attention when they're driving. So yeah.